Right there used to be a two-story small duplex. One bedroom on the first floor and one bedroom on the second floor. When I moved out and I think June of 1993 from my parents' house, I got mad. We had an argument and I just <laughs> up and moved out with the city hoodlums. First I moved in with Maurice, Maurice Parker. Well, he told me I had to go because his mom and him were reconciling and she did not like white people. So I had to go. So I moved in with the hoodlums. Ryan and Joey were the ones who written, written this place. But every, all the city hoodlums came to sleep in this place. They came to do the smoke their pot in this place. I brought my t uh, Street Top Friday 2 Super Nintendo. And we played, all that, all that was on that, all that ever came on that television was MTV or Street Fighter 2. And I kicked all the asses. <laughs> yeah, I remember they were having a cookout here one night at 3 in the morning. I knew better than to eat the food that I cooked because I, I sure they knew nothing about food safety. So I just, I, I just, 3 in the morning, went down those streets, walked. Walking up and down the streets, walking up and down Vernon Avenue. We had some good times in this place. One night, one day, afternoon, however, as I was getting to my carry veil, my 93 carry veil, right here, it was parked right there. Some man, some big man, comes out from that from there at that house with a, I don't know, with a knife, a razor, or something. And he's he's mad, he's yelling at me. Which one of you? Which one of you uh, talk, threatened my wife here? I'm like, I didn't do that, sir. I'm sorry, but I calmed him down. And he was mad because somebody uh, cussed out or did something to it, who lived there, cussed out his wife. But eventually. We all moved, uh, Miss King, she was the landlord. She finally a victim, evicted us. I remember writing on the, a wall, underneath the wall sockets, fingers don't go here, you know, from the, the Saturday morning schoolhouse rock. Fingers go here, and they go here, talking about piano keys. No, fingers go here, and keys go here, but heaven knows they don't go here. To, and they had a cat. And then there's that house right there. My Aunt Dee, Dee moved into that house in the summer of 1981. Or some, or bring, no, no. Right, at, right around, uh, right before my birthday, my eighth birthday, she moved into this house. I, I, was, I was so sad when she left. But I remember spending the night in that house one time with my cousins. I went to bed. We uh, but the night before, I was in in the living room watching the Dukes of Hazard. I fell asleep where I was watching the Credible uh, Friday Friday nights, and the Credible Harp used to come on at eight, and then after that, and night, the Dukes of Hazard came on. I fell asleep in the Duke during the Dukes. <laughs> I remember in the summer of 1981, she'd come from this house and babysit me at my house. But there was a foul smell in the closet. They had little uh, uh, doors you could open for a little, I don't know, rooms. You could, dark rooms in the closet. You could crawl, spa crawl spaces, I don't know. But there was this foul smell coming from, 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 from one of those places. They could not find that foul smell no matter what they tried. They finally moved out. Moved out back in with me and my ha my mom, my dad, and my brother at my house. I was so glad. Someone else moved into this house. Not too long after they moving into the house, they died of a heart attack. Was this house cursed? <laughs> you see this shit? You see shit?